Hey guys, in this video we'll cover another three objectives for the MO100 exam and namely how to format text in multiple columns, insert page, section and column breaks and change page setup options for a section. Before we start I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and if you find this video useful please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. For this video I will switch to a separate document. So we go to view, switch windows, document 1 and here I have some lorem ipsum. Let's begin with the first objective and format the text into columns. We can do it either locally by selecting text that we want to format into columns, then we go to layout and columns, specify the number of columns or you can click more columns and have even more settings. So let's set two columns here, okay. And when we want to apply that globally, we can simply click here or anywhere else in the document like here, columns, two columns and that's it. In next objective there is a task to insert a column break and that is simply for example that after this paragraph we want to start a new column. To do that we go to layout, columns, sorry, breaks and insert a column break and that's it. The next objective is to insert page breaks and they are useful when you want to end the current page and insert a new page. So the conventional or rather incorrect way to do that would be to click enter too many times and now we have a new page and the correct way to do that is to insert a page break either here or I like to go to the insert tab and here I can insert a page break. Perfect. Notice that when we go and switch on the hidden signs or symbols, now we have here page break. The next objective is to set section breaks. So they are useful to set the different page setup for individual pages of our document. To insert section breaks, again we have to go to layout, breaks, and there are two types of section breaks, or actually even more, but the most common are next page and continues. So for example, when here I insert a continuous section break, continues, then the page setup that I set here or here applies only to this section. Notice what happens when I set globally, let's say, columns. So two columns and you can see that it is until the end of the first section. Another type of section break is a next page section break. So we can delete the continuous one. Let's insert here a next page section break. So now we have separate sections here and here and they are not mixed on the same page, let's say. The next objective is to change page setup for each individual section. So in order to do that we have to go into the required section, go to layout and notice for example when I here set the page orientation to landscape, the first section remains as, as it is. So the page setup options are on the layout tab and that's basically all for today. So I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.